What's up troopers, my name is Neon and here we are with the RM68 setup. Absolute juicy weapon, I think you guys are going to really love using this gun. Before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it. and of course leave a like, thank you very much. Current stats I have for the RM68 is fire rate up to 40, accuracy up to 64, range as 38 and handling as 74. With a rate of fire of 730, with this weapon has never disappointed me, the recoil is really nice on it and even the damage. You'd be very surprised what you can do if you hit someone in the head with this as it's only a two bullet to kill at close range. So you'd be really surprised what you can really do with this weapon. I have a lot of fun with it, almost my most used weapon in the game. What I like using with the RM setup is I actually go with the standard dot sight. Standard dot sight is just being really good. I don't like going anything further with it. I know it's a sight rifle and of course it's personal preference, whatever sight you would like to go. I feel like just the standard dot sight is just my go-to. I like being aggressive and it's perfect for me. But then what really is coming clutch is the thermal sight. Thermal sight adds so much visibility to this weapon and it's actually just so much more easy to use. Sometimes I get myself carried away and I'm actually using the thermal sight a bit too much than I should. On the left side of the tree, I actually use the short end barrel. What's really nice about the short end barrel is it gives you so many benefits. It's crazy. It gives you that suppressor sound, stealth on the minimap of the 40 meters. It gives you better vertical recoil control and it increases the rate of fire. That's absolutely amazing of something you should be using using that short end barrel is really good because of that increased rate of fire and all the other benefits it can give you if you do want to be a little bit more accurate and more precise with your shot then i suggest you should be going to the champion muzzle break this one doesn't increase or decrease rate of fire it's accidentally the same but because you had the increase of the short end suppressor and that increases the rate of fire when you switch to this one the champion muzzle break you'll actually slow down the rate of fire and because of that it will make you more consistent with your gunfights while you're using the champion muzzle break it's really good because it's going to help you more with your vertical recoil control so just better accuracy overall and to get even more accuracy i actually go with the laser sight what's good about the laser sight is, is as i said before when it comes to the sights i like being close and personal so being close and personal and having laser sight is really good clutch because if there's a lot of people you might not have the chance to aim so hip firing is something you really do need and the good thing is it actually gives you more recoil control do you need any more recoil control with this weapons already a laser beam as it is but here we are and the magazine count i use is it's the close cord combat. This is good because it gives you better recoil control, reload speed, and rate of fire. So you increase your rate of fire not once but twice with the short end suppressor and this close combat magazine. And then my second one is the standard issue extender mag. This one just gives you a little bit more ammunition. Honestly, troopers, I don't use anything except the close combat. Thing is, I always play in the assault class, so it gives me a bunch of ammunition. So I really don't even need to worry about anything when it comes to magazines. So the close combat is really just my go-to all the time. Even if I'm not playing in the assault class, just playing the other specialist where it has an ammo crate, it's just something good as well. So you can chuck that and keep yourself going. And there we go, troopers. That is the best class setup for the RM68. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, be a part of Pinkogami. And I'll see you troopers in the next video. Peace.